everybody, it's Kelly and I'm really excited because I'm here with a package and this is a challenge entry from Sarah who is Sarah57556 and I will of course leave her link below. Um, I haven't actually looked inside the box, I've just unsealed it, it was stuck down really well with sellotape so it took me ages to open it. So the first thing I'm going to do is apologise if I'm saying your name wrong because S-A-R-A in the UK usually is Sarah rather than Sarah. But I've heard some people pronounce it, pronounce it Sarah, so if I'm saying it wrong, I really, really do apologise and do let me know. So, let's have a look inside. Ooh. And as you know, if you saw my last package, my last Happy Mail package and challenge entry from Leonie, I am like a kid at Christmas. So I've got a card, so let's have a look in here. Oh, and the first thing I saw, because I opened it back to front, is Handmade by Sarah. Oh, that's lovely look oh it's even more pretty in real life like in person it's so pretty so she's overlapped the paper here and run some trim that's sort of underneath the paper and that's been embossed and she's inked that by the looks of it and then you've got this beautiful stamp all the way around and this is oh i can't remember what she said this means oh i'll have to go back to her video and look she did say in her video what this means and look at these these are really pretty so I'm just going to read this quickly. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, that's just lovely. Thank you. So let's have a look in here. So this must be my wonderful Kay. Yay! Oh, and look, she's filled this box with some other goodies. Do you know what? My husband had to go and pick this up from the post office for me this morning. And he said to me, there is not just a K in there. That box weighs a ton. It is so heavy. So let's start here. Oh, that is so pretty. That is a ring and some earrings. Do you know what? I might have to wear those. I don't know if I'll be able to take those apart. And there's a little note in here. And it says... Oh, stuck together. These jewels are made from paper and sealed with decoupage glue. They are sturdy, but they can't have... I can't read that last word. Can anyone read the last word? Someone tell me. Oh, they are beautiful. I'm just going to get them out of this bag, guys. Did you make these? I bet you made these. Look at that. That is beautiful. And I think she said that she'd been following Leonie, my paper for my passion for papers tutorial and she has done such an amazing job i have fo tried my best to follow that tutorial and man no my paper flowers are not up to anything oh they are stunning look at those thank you so much i absolutely love those they are beautiful and let's have a look at this one and of course i haven't bought any scissors so i'm going to make loads of noise so i do apologize what have we got in here? It's also well wrapped. I'm no good at this wrapping thing. Oh, look. It's a little frame and it's really heavy. It's, I don't know, maybe it's, it's clay, something like that. That is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Thank you. So I'm just moving because I'm st kind of standing behind the camera so I have to keep moving stuff up so I can look at it a bit closer. And then here's another one. Oh, look, you can't even see. Sorry, guys. What's in here? Oh, I can't get it open. Oh, look, scissors. Look, there we go. I've left a mess out on my table from when I was last crafting. I have to cut this one as well. look oh, I was looking at some of these I was looking at these in um, one of my local shops the other day and I don't know why I didn't buy them but I didn't so I am so happy to have those look at those they are so pretty oh I love that one that one with the jewel in the centre look at those guys aren't they gorgeous thank you so much and there's so much more my goodness I can't believe how much you've put in here Oh wow, they are so cool. 
They're like wooden blocks with things on them. Oh, and this lady must be watching quite a lot of my videos. Look, there is a teapot and a teacup. And if you watch my videos, then you will know that I am I am typically English and I am absolutely obsessed with tea. I love tea. How gorgeous are they? Look at those. And, oh, they're all, hold on, they're all together. Oh, I love them, Sarah. Thank you so much. I absolutely love those. That is so thoughtful as well, because that means that you've, you know, really been paying attention to my channel and what I do and what I'm like, and that's just so thoughtful. Thank you. Oh, look, I've got trims. So I'm not going to take all these out because I can never make them look as pretty when I put them back in. That is so pretty. That is a ribbon, and it's, I think it's black, maybe really dark blue. Look at the flowers on the border around that. That is beautiful. And this one is pink and purple and white, and they're, they're like circles, and they're kind of interwoven together. That is really pretty. And then there's this green, like Rick Rack. And then this pink one, I like this pink one, that's really pretty. And then, oh, and these are sort of like a, a wide Rick Rack, and there's a pink, uh, sorry, a red and a navy blue. They're lovely, Sarah, thank you so much. My goodness, I can't believe how much you've put in here. Oh, it's going to be another scissor job. I have absolutely no idea what these things say, so I apologise for that. But look at those. They're um, a bit like the Prima or the Recollections clocks. They're like chipboard, stroke cardboard, and there's one, two, three. There's five in there. They're lovely. Thank you. I love these, and I love using these, and I hoard them as well. And these are like chipboard buttons, and they're blue with butterflies, and there's like a flourish on those ones. These have got leaves and roses on. I love those. They're really pretty, the rose ones. And wow, you've sent me so many. And these are like dotty. And then some plain coloured ones. They're lovely. I love them. Oh, look at that. Did you make that? I bet you made that. Oh, hold on, guys. My daughter's calling. Bear with me two seconds. Okay, sorry about that. My daughter's toilet training at the moment, so I had to just let her in. She was outside with my husband. So we got to here, and that huge paperclip is just beautiful. So my husband just came in, and um, I was saying, look, I don't know what these say, and he was laughing at me. And so he was saying, this must mean flowers, we think, and this must mean small. And he was laughing at me because I couldn't work it out. <laughs> so these are like uh, a cross between like a teal and a light blue. Then these are like a peachy colour. They are so pretty. These are yellow and white. They're obviously larger ones and they're like fuchsia and pink. They're so pretty. Oh, and she's given me two of those. And they're fuchsia and pink but slightly different. And they're beautiful. Thank you so much. And again, number one. Oh, it is really, it's like Christmas. Oh, oh wow. There we go. I said it was like Christmas and there is some properly Christmassy trim. Look at those. That is definitely going to have to go into a Christmas project somewhere, isn't it? And then there's these at the top as well. Thank you so much. And then there is one more in here and then we will get to the good stuff and my K that Sarah has made for my giveaway. So this one is Oh look, look at the pearls. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's my daughter you can hear. Oh, aren't they pretty? Yeah. They are like a copper like a coppery yeah. they're all sort of iridescent and that's like a copper and that's like a sort of like a brown or a really dark copper. They're really nice, I like those. And then there's right. some in red and like a, it's showing up a lot more white on the camera, but it's more kind of a silvery white. 
so they are really cool and then oh look oh that is amazing oh sorry you can't see vintage paper pad I see oh you want to see hold on I'm just going to show my daughter there you go look is it pretty yeah yes. you can have a look at those in a minute I'm just going to flick through this for you oh I love that one I love the clock image oh look at the clocks Oh, yeah. oh, that's really oh, pretty. Yeah. I don't know if you can... Frey Lily? I don't know if you can see that, but there's, like, leaf. Oh, that's pretty as well. Look at that. You can look in a minute, Puppet. Oh, that is so pretty. I can see me fussy cutting that. Thank you so much, Sarah. That is lovely. That is wonderful. You have sent me so much stuff, and you totally did not have to do that. I am so grateful. What do you want to see? You want to see the towel? See how I'm done. So, now, this is the challenge entry. And as I said, I'll pop Sarah's link below so you can pop over and have a look at how she made it and what she did. And... She said this was quite a challenge for her and it was out of her comfort zone, but she did such an amazing job. Oh, I'm trying to be a bit careful. Oh. Thank you, Danny. Um, it's wrapped in some paper as well. She's done a really good job of wrapping all these. I'm rubbish at this wrapping thing. Oh, look. And it's really dinky. It's like the size of my hand. And I now have an audience. Sorry, there is my... Yes? Nothing, I was just like deep fry saying, oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Can you beautiful. take her outside? Oh, bye. Hey, Lily, go with Daddy, please. Good girl. Sorry, guys. Right, look. Sorry, now I'm hitting the camera. I'm just having um, a look and taking it all in before I talk you through it. It's so wonderful to see these things in person rather than in videos because you never get like the full effect of how much is in them and how much effort has gone into them in the videos. So the paper pack she sent me must be the one that she used to make this because there is that clock paper that I said I liked so much. Oh, and it's on the back as well. So she's obviously painted this black first and then I think she's adhered the paper with... I don't know, it doesn't look like it's been Mod Podge, some sort of glue, and then it's around the side. So let's start here. So we've got this charm, and that is really, really pretty. So I'm not sure how she's adhered that. There's like a dangle charm on the side. Sorry, two sets, guys. Um, so yeah, so that's a dangle charm. And then look at the top, some more of these flowers. And wow, these flowers are brilliant. They are so good, and I wish I could follow Leone's tutorial that well. And then we've got some trim underneath the flowers. It's like a yellowy and a, like an orangey. And then there are some pearls down here. And then down this side, she's adhered these pearls and this trim. This is just, this is beautiful. And there's so much more in this than you can see in her video. There's some like gems across the front here, some little brown ones. And she's made some little books. And there's like a scroll back there. And there is a sign which she's obviously, um, put uh, glossy accents over it says love and there's a small one of these flowers back there and there's this little pot there's just so much detail there's an elephant I love the elephant and a can little miniature candle that's amazing I love that and another one of those scrolls and there's some trim under there then we've got another two books here and there's another flower back there and a little pot and some more gems and I loved this. This is an upside down thimble with a flower in it, which I thought was such a good idea when I saw her video. I absolutely loved that. And there's another one of those little books in there. Then in this one, we've got a flower and a little jug, which by the looks of it, she's used sort of rub and buff or uh, Viva Decor or something on, and some more trim. Then this one's quite jam packed. There's like three of these little, I don't know if they're like scrolls or towels or flannels, or I'm not entirely sure. Um, and a spool with some trim around it and there's a flower back there and another one of those like glossy accented signs with a butterfly and then this one is like a it's like a bead like a big bead and there's like a photo frame on the wall in the back and there's a flower on top of there and this last one is loads in here so we've got this cameo and there's a flower in the corner 
that bird cage is beautiful I love that and there's a chess piece and there's a rolled rose in there and another flower there so look at that isn't that absolutely beautiful so that is going to go on my desk with my others so that will now be my third K that will be displayed on my dresser thank you so so much Sara for not only the challenge entry but everything else that's gone with it as well I mean look at all this stuff she sent me just so so much so many lovely goodies and I am so grateful so thank you ever so much and guys make sure that you go and check out her channel and don't forget you've still got quite a long time to enter my challenge um, and I'd very much like some more of you to enter it's brilliant seeing what you're all coming up with um, and what you're all doing and it's, it's really good fun as well so thank you so much Sarah her link's down below and I'm off to message her now bye everybody